The New York City mosque debate, it's just the tip of a much bigger issue. What has happened to America's relationship with its Muslims? Local Muslim leaders say they are disappointed by Governor Quinn's recent comments about a proposed Islamic center near Ground Zero in New York. The burning will go on. That's what the pastor of a small Florida church is saying tonight about his plan to burn a stack of Qurans. When you pit an entire faith community and really the image of America around the world, because people out there are going to watch this and say, this is an American Christian pastor doing this. But of course, he does not represent Christianity or America for that matter. Unfortunately, there has been a resurgence of Islamophobia in the United States. Uh, there have been conflicts and controversies all over the country about the building of mosques, and a lot of this conflict and controversy is rooted in ignorance and alienation. There is so much misunderstanding and so much demagoguery about what Islam stands for, what Muslims stand for. And polls have indicated over time that those who are uh, knowledgeable of Islam or know Muslims have a more favorable opinion of Muslims and Islam than those who have no knowledge of either. There's a lot of news about uh, Muslims and uh, mosques and uh, the role of Muslims in America, the role of Muslims in the West. Uh, and we have to have an institution which reflects our strength and our talents as a community. Most sensational of these has been over the Park 51 project that's proposed um, uh, for two blocks uh, away from the Ground Zero site. Uh, and uh, there is a lot of uh, hatred being spewed uh, about Muslims, uh, a lot of fear, and the fear and the hatred are rooted in ignorance, as they so often are. It would be built two blocks from the former site of the Twin Towers. They say the controversy shows that many people cannot differentiate between Muslims and terrorists. There's nothing insensitive about American Muslims building a house of worship, peace, and community a few blocks away from ground zero. This institution has the potential and has begun working in terms of not only serving the Muslim population in Chicago, but really the population at large, and not just in Chicago, but around the country, in terms of Islamic classes, Islamic education classes, Arabic, other um, languages, uh, political classes, philosophical, arts, culture. And it's really a project that is one of a kind. There aren't many institutions in the country that provide these type of services. We hope that AIC will be a true reflection of the talents and the diversity of the Muslim community of the great city of Chicago. And so at this very critical time, uh, we need every tool we can have uh, to basically spread understanding and knowledge of Muslims, Muslim Americans, the role they can play in enriching the mosaic of this wonderful country and, and to contrib you know, contributing into the larger society.